Good evening, European Confessions. I am back with another episode. There is a message that I want to share with you guys. The message reads like this. Hello, brother. How are you? Can you please post my story in the Confessions group? I don't know if mine is a confession or not, but I need help from your listeners. I'll be in the comment section. So, I am a primary school teacher at this school. It was in January this year. I applied for a loan at the bank. Then the bank approved my loan and I was given money that was around 60 plus thousand rands. I wanted to use that money to buy a good second hand car. So there was this other lady, me and this lady, we went to school together. So I knew that she was a car saleswoman and I trusted her enough since she had been in this business for a very long time. I approached her because me and this lady, we used to get along very well. I ended up trusting this lady to find me a good second-hand car that matched my income. I didn't want to buy a second-hand car that would end up giving me problems. That is why I had to approach her in the first place since she was someone who knew everything about used cars. Me and this lady, we met and I gave her my money. I gave her all of the money that I had gotten as a loan from my bank. That was 60,000 plus runs. This was in February when I gave her the money. Then, after I had given her my money, she made a promise to me. She told me that she wanted to give me a period of only one month. In that one month, that is when she was going to get me a very good used car, meaning to say, by March, I was supposed to have my good second-hand car. But now, I have a problem, guys. This lady is no longer reachable. She doesn't communicate with me anymore. I last spoke to her, it was in May. She told me that she hasn't found a good second-hand car yet, so I should be patient. When she told me that I had to be patient, I told her to give me back my money. At least I can keep my money safe, whilst she will be looking for a good second-hand car for me. But when I told her that I wanted my money back, that is when the problem started. She is now saying she has no money and she is not answering her phone anymore. No matter how much I try to reach out to her, she just doesn't answer my calls anymore. But no matter how much I try to get in touch with this lady, she just doesn't want to talk to me anymore. This whole thing started the day that I told her I want my money back. She doesn't answer her phone anymore. What hurts me is that when I borrowed this money from the bank, I thought that I was going to have a car of my own. And the most painful part is that I am still paying back this loan each and every month. Whenever I get my salary, the bank takes the money that I loaned from them. Each and every month, the bank is taking somewhere around 2,600 rands somewhere there. Now I am left with something like 26 to 27,000 rands that I am still owing the bank that I have to pay back. What is more, the most painful thing about my story is that I never used this money that I took as a loan from the bank. If I had used this money, at least whenever I repay this loan, I will know that it was me who used this money. But I never took out a single cent from the money that I got as a loan because I wanted this car. Because I wanted to buy my own car. It really hurts me whenever I think about this lady. Because this lady, she is actually staying in a good suburb where people who are in the middle class are staying. The rentals stay, like the monthly rentals, are quite expensive. But she is able to stay there. But she told me that she doesn't have money to give me, yet she is staying in an expensive neighborhood. 
actually uh, two children are in boarding school right now as we are speaking but when i spoke with her she said i don't have money so how come she is able to send her children to a very expensive private boarding school yet she can't give me my money and when i try to speak with her on whatsapp she doesn't respond to my whatsapp messages anymore it has been three months now and that lady she doesn't say anything regarding my money i know that somehow this money that i got as a loan from the bank there is no way i am going to get it back this lady just scammed me i am overwhelmed i know it is bad but guys i don't have an option this is my secret now that i have been keeping in my heart this coming august i am going and i have decided to travel to malawi i heard that there is this powerful witch doctor i have decided to go to malawi so that i can consult with this witch doctor so that this lady can give me back my money that i worked hard for we all know that the economy is not performing very well for someone to be cruel like this just to take advantage of you because you had trusted them then they scam you all of your money for those who have been in this situation how did you handle it when you have given someone your money and they just scam you and they don't want to speak with you anymore i also want you guys to give me the numbers of any powerful witch doctor that you know that i can go to and consult please give me any suggestions in the comment section i will be following Thank you so much, Brother Nashi. Notify me when you have posted. Dear listeners, right there was a message that I received from Anonymous. Yeah, ne, she was scammed by a best friend. Please let us speak with her in the comment section. It has reminded me of a story that I received, I think, a few days ago. It was about a lady. She said that she was working as a stay-in maid and she had trusted her boyfriend. Since she didn't have a bank account of her own, she was using her own boyfriend's bank account to get a salary. So what then happened was that after a few months when she wanted to use the money because she thought that the money that she had been keeping was there in her boyfriend's bank account, when, when she went to the ATM, that is when she realized that the bank card was not working anymore so she went inside the bank to ask what was happening to the bank card that is when they told her that that bank card that she had in her hand wasn't working anymore because the owner of the account had gone into the bank and he had claimed like and he had said that he had lost his bank card so they had blocked the card that she had when she confronted her boyfriend that is when they broke up the most painful part about the story is that now this guy is a pilot this lady is still suffering and whenever this lady tries to get in touch with this pilot guy who is now earning lots and lots of money the pilot then sent her a message and told her that i am now earning a lot of money this lady then contacted her ex-boyfriend because she wanted her money back when she heard that this guy was now working as a pilot and he was getting lots and lots of money that guy then responded to this poor lady and he said the money that you are saying i am owing you it is just small money do you know how much money I get each and every month? I am not the one who used your money, but the bank is the one that took your money because I had to settle some accounts which I was owing. And this little money that you are talking to me about is just little money. It's just small change to me. It is quite a painful response. So this lady is just stuck. She said that she had been saving for many, many months. People are just heartless out there. Please let us talk about this issue in the comment section. It all starts with trusting someone, thinking that you are in this together. 
but people can change overnight. So we need to be careful. Please let us meet again in the following episode.